In this video, we're going to be building an AI worker that lets a user upload a CSV file. And that CSV file has a bunch of URLs to products on an e-commerce site. And we want to go through each of those URLs. And for each URL, we want to scrape the site and we want to generate some um, text descriptions based on the product. And the sample I have here, this is like a, a chemical supply website. Uh, and we've got the CSV that has a bunch of product IDs and URLs. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the architect and start scaffolding this up. And I'm going to be a little more specific than we might be when building other types of apps, just because I already have an idea in my head of how I want this to be built. So let's say allow user to upload a CSV, use a function to get the product URL from each row of the CSV for each product URL, scrape the URL, generate, let's see what we wanted here. We want a short, long, and meta description for each product. So I'm assuming that's like, you know, short description, long description, and then like an SEO meta description. So let's say short description for a catalog listing a full description and an SEO friendly meta description for the product. And then let's say store these in a variable called results. Use a function to check the length of the results variable and manage the loop. Once complete, use the results variable to build a new CSV with three additional columns. Short description, full description, meta description. Um, and like we could just have it return this all back to us, but I think it's cool as a pattern to think about. Like we give it this CSV, we upload this, and what we get back is basically the same CSV with just three additional columns with this new um, generated data. So this idea of like enriching a file um, using AI, basically like AI powered autofill uh, for these additional columns, I think is really interesting. So let's go ahead and let it build this out for us and we'll see how far it gets us. This one's a little bit of a trickier one. So I think it's going to give us a foundation, but we'll probably need to go in and do a little bit of manual labor on top of it. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So upload CSV, parse and extract URLs. Initialize the loop, run the loop, scrape the URL, um, generate the description, build everything out, and return it. Okay, so let's see what we've got here once it's done making all of these. Okay, let's take a look. So we've got upload the CSV. We extract some URLs. We get the current URL, we scrape it, we generate what we want. We append that, though we don't need to do that. 
then we continue looping, otherwise we generate the final CSV. Okay, so this generally looks like it works. Um, let's just go ahead and run it and see. And I made a, um, just a shorter CSV here so we don't have to wait for the entire thing. Okay, so it's auto-detecting the URL columns. Uh, it's getting all the URLs. Setting our initial loop index. Getting the first URL. Scraping. Generating our descriptions. Appending it to the array. Setting, incrementing our index. One is less than nine. Okay, so it's going to continue doing this for a little bit. Okay, so it looks like it got all of them, as we can kind of see in here. Looks like there's an error in this, where it's looking for the original data which I think seems like it's in the CSV data variable. Okay, so we get the enriched CSV and it's making it as text. Um, Ideally, what I want actually is this to turn it into a file. So we've got, let's see, I think this should work. Okay, let's rerun it and see if this works. Whoops, wrong button function. Did it work? Huh, look at that. Let's open it in Excel. Yeah, so here's, I don't know how to do word wrap, but here's all these. Yeah, I mean, look, it generated all of these short descriptions, full descriptions, social descriptions. Um, pretty cool stuff, okay. Wow. Um, all right, so that works. Uh, it's a little bit messy in here. You could, you know, clean this up a little bit. But yeah, there you go. So this, which the actual CSV look nicer. Maybe numbers looks nicer. There we go. Okay. So yeah. So we took what was originally this CSV or this snippet of this larger CSV, but basically ID permalink. And for each of these rows, we scraped this URL. We generated a description for the catalog, the clean screen DAU column, 130 milligram, one milliliter is a professional grade mixed mode extraction column designed for forensic and clinical applications. Cool, we generated a full description designed specifically for drugs of abuse testing applications, features optimal 130 milligram sorbent mass. Great. And then generated the meta description. And we got this back as a CSV. So this is just a really, really powerful pattern to be able to take something like this. And instead of, 
you know, you sitting there and going to each of these and writing all of this out, just feed it into this. And it, it's kind of magic autofill in a sense. Um, all done in this, you know, 95% of this done by the architect. You know, I had to go in and change a few little things and, you know, get it to whatever render a file. But yeah, this is um, pretty crazy as far as use cases go. So I hope this inspires you to play around with Mind Studio and see what it's possible to build. Thanks for watching.